what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Hi friends, I'm Zoe. One of my friends left this helpful book in the book nook. It's a children's book about first aid. That's another way of saying how to help someone when they get hurt. This book talks about all the different ways a kid can get a boo-boo and how to help if they do. Do you want to know the coolest thing about boo-boos? Band-aids! You need a really big band-aid if you have a really big boo-boo. You'll need a really teeny tiny band-aid if you have a teeny tiny boo-boo. You'll need a whole bunch of band-aids if you have a whole bunch of boo-boos. Ouch. Let's see what else I can learn about boo-boos. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Learning all about boo-boos, are you? I sure am, Ollie. There are so many different types of bandages we can use if our friends get hurt. Giving a bandage is great. It's true. Jesus tells us to help others, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ooh, ooh. Follow me through. Follow me through. Ooh. Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman, out delivering mail on this beautiful day. I have to remember to take Mr. Smith's mail to the door for him. He hurt his leg and can't walk to the mailbox right now. I just love helping people. That reminds me of another important story Jesus told us. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put this story mail in the mailbox. And we're ready to go. The story Jesus told begins with a man walking along a road. When all of a sudden, some robbers came and hurt the man. Oh no, he had so many boo-boos. He needed help. Look, here comes someone. Let's ask him to help. Everyone on the count of three, yell, please help. One, two, three, please help. Oh no, he didn't stop to help. He just walked on by. Here comes another man. Let's ask him to help. Ready? One, two, three. Please help. But he didn't stop either. He just walked on by. Then a third man came by. Uh-oh, he's a Samaritan. He's not going to help this man. The Samaritan people and the hurt man's people were not friends. There's no way the Samaritan will be kind and help the hurt man. But let's go ahead and ask him. One, two, three, please help. Look, the Samaritan is stopping and he's giving the hurt man bandages for his boo-boos. Wow, the Samaritan man helped the hurt man. He even put the hurt man on his donkey and took him to a place to stay until he was all better. That is awesome. The Samaritan man in the story was a great helper. He took care of the hurt man. There are lots of ways we can help others. I'm being a helper today and taking Mr. Smith's mail to his door. We can help everyone, our parents, our teachers, our friends, everyone. The very important thing Jesus taught us in this story is that we can help everyone. I'm so glad we have a friend like Jesus to teach us important things. Oh, hi, Ollie. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who teaches you important things? 
Jesus teaches me important things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there is your story, and it's all true. Jesus said helping others is the thing to do. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Jesus told us a story to teach us that we can help everyone. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm going to see what else I can learn to help my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye. The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28.